Okay, we are here at one of my favorite places in the city, Audrey Books. Um, they are so great, so supportive of uh, upcoming superstars in the literary world and uh, book launching, as are some new publishing houses that are happening here in the city of Edmonton. And one of them, of course, is the Stonehouse Publishing, uh, which just gave us two great new uh, books this past February. And we met an author earlier. We're going to meet the second now. David, welcome to Dinner Television. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. Encountering Riel, uh, an, a fantastic novel, a tale, uh, and your first novel. So I got to say, a huge congratulations! You must. What, what was that like, first of all, to actually get the book in your hand? Oh, it was lovely. I, you, you can, one can imagine. It, it's a thrill. It really is. I've sat and fondled it and held it. My wife makes fun of me, but I, you know, <laughs> I, it's 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 fun. It's, it feels good. As you should. Uh, tell me about the journey. Uh, in, if you were to do a soundbite uh, to draw us all into the world of this wonderful book, Encountering Riel. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing based on Louis Riel? Yes, yes, it is. It's about the Riel resistance of 1885, formerly the Northwest Rebellion, which I think is one of the central tragedies in Canadian history. And it has the great tragic hero of Canadian history, Louis Riel, right at the center of it. Mm -hmm. I've always thought it was a great story. So when you take history, actual history, and sort of weave it into a fiction, what happens? Where did the inspiration start? For me, the inspiration started when I was 10. My dad had an old Métis friend who was the younger brother of the scout who captured Louis Riel for the, for the Canadian forces. He remembered it. He talked about the red-coated militia, the red-coated Mounties. I've been thinking my whole life about writing about the rebellion because, frankly, if it had happened in the United States, there'd be a hundred movies about it. It's a great epic story. Hmm. And, uh, I mean, you, you create enough fiction to draw the reader in and make him care about the characters, but it's based obviously on what really happened, which is sufficiently exciting to keep me thrilled anyway. And we'll <laughs> see if it thrills anybody else. Oh, I think it will. I mean, like you said, it's, it's especially this part of the country here in Alberta, spe yeah. specifically, you know, there are, I, I grew up in St. Albert, there's, you know, it's a very um, active history, I guess you could say here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, there were Métis people in, in St. Albert at that time. They didn't join in the rebellion. There were a lot of troops sent out here. Uh, and in Frog Lake, which is now part of Alberta, of course, there was a massacre of, of innocent civilians by some of the First Nations people. But most of the fighting took place in what's now central Saskatchewan. Hmm. It's, uh, it's fascinating, absolutely. I mean, so when you, I mean, when you decided to write this, and I'm guessing that there was a decision to begin writing this. Yeah. Was it well, your, the same wife that you spoke of earlier that was just like, enough, David, let's write it. Well, I wanted to write it when I was a judge, because I used to be one, but mm -hmm. they wouldn't let me, because you can't have a second source of income. And I was also told you can't write a novel about somebody as controversial as Louis Riel. Huh. So when I retired in 2007, I sat down and started researching it. Wow, and that's, that's very exciting. And that's what I did. Here we are in 2017. But yeah. Wow. Well, uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Actually, I'm going to scoop this bad boy up because that's wonderful. And and I love history and I love a good book. So uh, looks like you got all the boxes checked there, my friend. Well, I hope so. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And I'm going to actually shake your hand because uh, that's an, I mean, your first novel. That's huge. Uh, here it is, Encountering Riel. Something great to read. Uh, and let me tell you, if you're looking for good books, this is the place to be. Audrey's Books. We'll be back.